So I welcome you to this place, which is the, our learning space at the Place of Children. And it's one part of the whole Place of Children which is dedicated to, uh, to the children and to learning and developing. And here you see our shield of primary. It's the children in the age between 6 and 10. We are in the process of becoming an international school, which is a long process and it's connected with the building situation and so on. And as long as it's not a recognized international school yet, we do homeschooling. So we teach our own children in those spaces that we will present to you now. So this is Panama, it's our workshop and it's an essential part of our learning space. So you can see part of our learning space is not only classical, classical school material, but also it's the workshop to do creative and handcraft things. And in this context, I also would like to say that the aspect of learning by doing is actually very essential part of, our, of the way we learn with the children. So this room is our Piri Piri. It's the room for creativity, for music. You can see the piano and there are other instruments. And for painting, for bricolage. Uh, they have sometimes nonsense classes, so where it's about expressing yourself and not being normal. So it's about creativity and yeah, finding expression. So this is our library corner with the sofa and the books and the carpet where kids can lay on the floor and read books. And I really love it. There were many, many moments already where the kids enter, and we always call it like the fever of reading. And for me, it's one of those, of those examples when children start to like something that actually we cannot stop them from learning anymore. So they would lay around everybody and they would just read all the time and learn as much reading as we never could teach them in the same time if we would be the adults wanting to teach them. Yeah, so the library for me is one of those um, learning corners for the big fevers of learning. <laughs> and this building, it's the learning space for the older kids. And I want to show it because it was built more or less 20 years ago as one of the first buildings here at the Place of Children by Oscar, our founder and teacher and carpenter together with the first generation of youth at that time. So they created their own learning space. Okay, now we can go to the pagoda. So this is the pagoda. It's our room for sports, acrobatics, sometimes also theater. So it's a space for movement and the kids love it. They use it every break and also have classes here. So this is the place where we have our lunch every day. And you can see the children now are setting the tables. And it's a very important part for us that the children take responsibility for the spaces, for the dishwashing, for the tables, so that they themselves feel connected to the spaces and materials we have. So this is our middle of our learning yurt. And that's where we usually gather in the morning with all children. And there one child lights the candle and at the moment we have a ritual where we add water with a prayer for rain and for our own heart. And from here then the children also go in the different directions to learn their individual things. And when you look around you see that the tables are arranged individually so that every child can find his own spots to work. And it can also be on the floor, so we have a big free space here because we have a lot of material that you can put on the ground to discover things. Yeah, so everything is a learning space, also the carpet on the floor. <laughs> yeah, and he, here you can see the corner for math. It's a lot of Montessori material where the children can discover the logic of numbers and calculation. Here you see the corner for language and writing, the letters the, with their sounds in two languages. And over there, there is different materials about the world and geography and history. 